Hi, I'm in the car and uh, I've just finished at Whitemoor Prison. I've been visiting there today. I went down to see David Cohen, uh, which was a really good visit, but before that something unexpected happened. I was uh, sat quietly by myself waiting. You have to sit on a bench waiting for uh, to get your, the start of admission. It takes a couple of hours to actually get in the prison. And a lady came up. Uh, in Muslim dress, uh, but she was a white lady, and she immediately started talking to me. She was quite distressed, and she was very worried, as it turned out, that her husband, who's been in prison for 20 years, I think now, they've been married for 10, she was originally in prison, um, and she was worried they'd had an argument, she'd come all the way, a long way, to see him, and he wouldn't want to see her. In fact, in her mind, this was make or break on their marriage. They'd had a fallout over some aspect of, uh, of uh, Islamic law, uh, which I didn't know very much about, and I learned some things about. Um, and as I prayed for her, and as I chatted to her over the next couple of hours while we were getting ready to go in, uh, I was able to tell her a couple of stories about the way that Jesus related to women. I uh, talked to her about faith and how God would uh, bring peace into her heart if she prayed. And then I was able to pray for her. She was really welcomed that I prayed for her just before we both went in. And she was close to tears and holding it in. Anyway, we go through various checks, uh, frisks and sniffer dogs, and we finally get into the waiting room. And uh, David came and we began to chat and she waited and waited and her fella didn't come. And I thought, oh no, he's not shown up. And she got up out of her seat to leave. And, uh, and as she did start walking towards me, uh, I could tell her face changed. And I looked behind me and there, obviously, her husband was walking towards her. A couple of minutes later, she went to get a coffee and she walked past me and she winked. And it was just great to be able to, oh, I don't know, sow a seed or something, talk about Jesus pray for this Muslim lady and um, I pray that uh, she would just know more of you Lord uh, because of that. Anyway, had a great time with David, the chaplain came down as well and um, uh, we're all green lights for David's vision which is for him to encourage other prisoners to have a project to raise money for the poor in Romania. So the plan is I'm going to go down sometime in the next couple of months I hope cast a vision, do something different, uh, invite a, bunch, a whole bunch of prisoners to come along and then begin that fundraising and then take that money out to Romania, show them how the money's spent and involve them in the story. Now here's what excites me about it. I think it's a, a little God vision and I think if you connect these prisoners to work of the poor, it says that the kingdom of God belongs to those who are poor in the eyes of the world. You can look it up, it's in James somewhere. The kingdom of God belongs to those who are poor in the eyes of the world. And I think uh, it's a kingdom thing. Uh, so I'm excited about it and I, I'm praying and hoping it all works out. Anyway, I'm done now. I've got a bit of a drive ahead of me. So um, see you soon.